looking at was to try and, as much as possible, give a very neutral seating position. And what that means is you're trying to minimise the pressure on your back. Or not minimise it, but make it very linear or very flat, so you don't get big spikes in pressure. So, for example, here you're sitting, but you might have something in your pocket, in your rear pocket or something. I think it's the... Um Buttons? Yeah, or maybe the buttons, yeah, that's causing it. But if you're sitting like this, you can see that basically you've got no major spiking points at all. Now, if you, if you, for example, lay, raise your legs slightly, you get a spike because you get a greater focus yeah. on, on a particular area. And the main area that we're looking at here is particularly on this, this graph here. This is the spinal section. Yeah. And what we're trying to do is, when you've not, you don't want to have a particularly heavy, strong area. Because if you do, it puts pressure on the muscles in your back. Mm -hmm. and it reduces blood flow slightly. And the result is that over time, you'll get tired. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you've not got as much blood flow sure. going through your back. And basically, the principle of this is to try and make it as uniform as possible on, on your back. Right. That's it. That's the explanation, basically. <laughs> and yeah, the, uh, the background uh, research. Isn't it a huge difference? <laughs> difference um, depending on the person <laughs> sitting there? You're correct. So depending on your height, you can have a slightly different shape. Not only the height, also height, on width, your fitness. Your width as well. Yeah. yeah. It depends slightly on that as well. But there's a range. It's not like, for example, designed for one person. You'll have a block range depending yeah. on certain people. And when Nissan design a seat or design anything in the car, we're designing it from the different percentiles. Yeah. <laughs> percentiles from the Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so in America, we made it so <laughs> The lumbar and how it's managed with that it is covered by the seat. And the, the main difference is that you spend a lot of time doing testing on the seat. So normally when you're doing a development of a seat, you would do a seat of shape and you'd have somebody that's just an expert, or tuned, a tuned back as we would say. Somebody that's your expert on the seat come for And we had the guy here yesterday that was our tuned expert. And what you typically do is it's what he feels is the best. But this takes some of that away from just his you know, pure subjective feeling and it's doing a test to show actually for position. As long as we can minimize the, the pressure points, you will feel a lot more comfortable. You can have, you know, for example, if you lean one way to the other, you'll see that the mapping changes. This now, for example. But you, if you need to sit back slightly and see, maybe it's just a... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pressure, but that's 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 both that that's your lumbar area. This is lumbar spring pushing a little bit further in that area. Yeah, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay for comfort. As long as it's not going into the red zone, yeah. it's it's a good level. So it's and actually, I think this is yeah. And also, your position and your load on your back changes when you're when your hand position is as well because you're changing your shoulder position too. And you're, you're not carrying the weight of the hands. Exactly. Yeah. So you've got to so that changes as well your position.